previously on Saved by the Baby. Hey, I'm Mario Lopez. With only three months before the birth, I know my countdown to fatherhood has begun. We now have a new house, a new dog, a new baby on the way, a lot going on. Outfit, they're like hanging out naked. You put them in a towel? No, we tried to look again today. She wants to know the sex, I don't. Ultimately, it's up to you, bottom line. But are you with me on this? Can we not find out? I'd rather not find out. Are you cool with it? Fine. Yes. But if your hand slips? No, she no said yes. OK, I'm excited, and I know everything in my life's about to change. But how it's going to change, that part I don't know yet. Oh, my gosh. Coming up, guess who just paid 10 mil for this New York duplex? Secrets from Oprah's final season, her new interview, next extra. Secrets from Oprah's final season, her new. Secrets from Oprah's final season, her new interview, next extra. Plus, Kim K extra raw inside her EW photo shoot. Next extra. Thank you, Petiti. You're welcome, Mr. Dennis. My workday at Extra is crazy. Every minute is accounted for. I'm getting pulled in 100 different directions. I never have any downtime. Done. Hi. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Ready for your vacation? Yes. Nice. Yes, I can't believe it. But the only thing now is that it's going to be hard to really kick back because Masa's family's going, yeah. all the kids are going. I got to yeah. worry about everybody having a good time. I mean, they're going to yeah. have a good time because it's nice. Our families have spent some time together, so I wasn't too concerned about them getting along. I was more concerned about them bringing up the whole marriage thing, because Masa and I are very happy with the way our relationship is. And I don't even know if I want to keep him. Thanks. OK, Diana, so you'll get everything ready for me? And yeah, we'll... I'll get everything ready. And remember, try to relax. I will. Baby. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. This is all you need. Going on vacation with Mario can be great, except for the packing process. He can be very specific as far as how the packing should go. Please pack what you need in one carry-on and tell your family to do the same. Because you know they can wash the clothes there, and it's international travel. We can lose things. There's always drama, and you don't have bad luck with everything. I know, but I'm pregnant. So what does that mean? The clothes is bigger? I mean, what does that mean? It means I need options. You don't need options? We're not going anywhere. We're just going to chill. This is a chill out vacation. Well, I'll fit what I can fit in the carry-on, but I can fit okay, more good. than that's this. That's all I want to hear. Fit in the carry-on. Vacations are important for Mario because he's always on the go, and he never gets a chance to relax. I just hope by the end of the vacation, he can chill out. But I don't know what bathing suit to wear. That's why I have this big pile <clears throat> here, because nothing fits my chichis. We'll try it on. By the way, what's up with the chichis? It almost poked me in the eye when I came in today. <laughs> they are. I'm having a baby. They're filled with milk. What do you want me to do? You're creating shadows when you walk. Don't be rude. <laughs> you got front and back. Bam. I already feel like I weigh 1,000 pounds. I don't need to put a pattern on me that makes me look like I'm 2,000 pounds. I'm not going to take this skirt off, though. Why not? Oh, wow. Chichis are in full effect right there. I mean, they're really like. Wow, they're out there. I didn't want to offend anybody. I mean, I wanted to be appropriate in front of his family and not say, here I am, here are my big lactating boobies. Do you like this pattern? Yeah, it's pretty. Because it's I very... have this one circle right here on my nipple. Right, you look sexy with the belly right there. Because your whole body, you like your face, it didn't gain any weight, and your arms, you still look all ripped and everything. You just got this pretty little belly. I think I believed him that day. I mean, I had no choice. It was either that or go topless. The Mazas and all good to go. Well, on my side of the family, you had my mom, uh, LVL, my sister Marisa, my brother in law Kylie, their three kids, and my boy Blanket. And then my mother, Elaine, my sister Gina, 
my brother-in-law, Michael, their child, Francesca, who we also call Frankie, and my brother, Damien. You want to build a sandcastle, Yaya? I so. You're going to be a sandcastle right here? Yeah. I feel very confident in saying that I'm pretty great with kids. Oh! <laughs> Am I a horrible lifeguard? Don't throw those on me. What are you doing with the words? I said don't throw them on. Oh my god. Wait, where's that one going? Wait, hold on. Here. Let me grab this one. Ideally, I would like three kids, but I'm up for more. You know? I'm I'm down for our being Octo Dad. Are you down? You're delusional. No? Not happening? <laughs> no, I meant, what, what are we eliminating? You gotta drink it after. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna get, I'm still a kid, getting everything wet. It's okay, Damn. it's okay. So the family's having a good time, huh? They're having a wonderful time. Have they hit you up at all as far as like, oh, have they talked about getting married or? Um. So my mom is like the sweetest person ever and people just naturally opened up to her. So I wanted to see if any of Masa's family talked about the whole marriage thing. Little subtle things, but no. They're understanding? Yes. Yeah. Um, Masa and I talked about, I don't want to feel pressured that we need to rush into anything. I want to do mm -hmm. it when, when we feel it's right. Right. It's just a decision we make together to, to kind of go to that next level and get married or... Well, I understand, Mijo. You know, all I want is your happiness. I mean, you know I love Courtney. I love Courtney and... Why are you getting emotional? <laughs> Why are you getting emotional? I actually am very happy. I mean, I couldn't love her anymore. Can't wait for the baby. Oh, I know I can't wait either, but my, you'll always be the number one woman in my life. No, but you know what I mean. No, I, yeah. I'm, I'm super happy for you. I couldn't be more happy for you. Right. What are you looking at? <laughs> I'm watching them for action. Action who? Your belly, I want to see it move. Oh. I've been moving all day. You gotta get that kid circumcised and just don't tell him where you did I have no say in the matter. Why? Here's mother. The argument of circumcision is a bone of contention between us because he doesn't want to do it and I do. I, I can't even, I get all mad thinking about it. It's poor little, poor little wiener. I mean, you act like you've made this decision already, but what about me? We won't circumcise you, you'll be all good. Dinner time, my favorite time. Is this good? It's like a postcard. Do we have high chairs? Tienes sillas para los niños? Mom, mom, mom. Francesca, go with your mama for just this for this one food thing, okay? No, here, mom. Come over here. At this point in our vacation, everyone was chilling out and relaxed, except Mario. He was spazzing out. Damien and Rachel are going to sit there, and then you guys can sit wherever you want. And then mom over there. Two moms. Blanket over here, and the two moms there. All right. So Perfect. The things he can't control, he likes to control. You having a margarita with me? Okay, here's a toast. First of all, very excited that we have the Lopez's and the Mazas all together and joining these beautiful families, these beautiful cultures, and celebrating the soon-to-be birth of our beautiful baby. So here, here. Salud. Salud. We're gonna have a great time. Salud. Salud. All right. This food's here. I look at this flat taco. Oh, yeah. this looks really good. Oh, is that tortilla soup? Yep. Yeah. Right. A clacoyo. A quesadilla with beans instead of cheese inside. Everybody's gonna go back looking like a little gordita. I know. Here's the subject Masa has been debating with me on is I don't wanna circumcise a kid. Oh jeez. Talking about circumcising my son if I do have a son at dinner was just weird. I mean, my family's there. You know we're the only country that does it, by the way. If you go to Italy and you see all the statues that are built, they're all hanging there with, you know, with their deal. 
The reason I want to circumcise my son, if, if we have a son, is I just feel like kids go through life and they get teased enough as it is. I also believe it's better hygiene. And then for later in life, when he becomes sexually active, I feel for the girl. It's less that she has to do. I believe the foreskin was put there for a reason. It is not an optional part. It has a purpose in its life, and God doesn't make mistakes. It's really not that big of a deal. <laughs> what do you mean Second? it's not that big of a deal? They strap you down like no, this, no, Marisa, no, like you're in no, Braveheart. No. I saw it. Yes, no. they do. No, they don't. And they take it, ah, what no, do you mean don't. it's not that <laughs> big of a honey, deal? Marisa convinced herself that the procedure is not painful. I go, oh, really, Marisa? I saw it. I was right you there. It. Oh, and it went, it went, oh. he went, oh. No, 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 he did not. Uh, I don't understand why you want your thing just sticking out there like that. Mario, TMI, that's all I have. A little too much, Mom. Too much information. I just couldn't wait for the conversation to be over. I mean, your mind automatically goes to that person and their penis when they're talking. It's not something that you really want to think about. I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> I don't want to think about it now. But I still know I want to save the penis. Let's enjoy our Manny and Petties. Well, that feels nice. Yeah. One thing, though, I do have to say is that Mario has been so supportive with my body changes and the weight gain. It I mean, should be. It's yeah. inevitable. Right. But now I'm just worried for afterwards. I really think it takes as much time as you took to put it on. The nine months, that's about as much time it takes to, to get it off. <sighs> Since this is my first baby, it's nice to get a fresh perspective from women who have gone through it before. Do not let Mario tell you that he's tired after you have the baby. There will always be a competition, <laughs> yeah. But remember, yours starts with labor. That's why it's called labor. It makes <laughs> right, you tired. Right, right. <laughs> Never say no to him. Anytime he wants to even look at the baby, just kind of go hand yeah. it to him. Have yeah. him help you with a diaper change. Mm -hmm. I mean, he wants to experience it. I know Mario is going to be a very hands-on father. It's just very important to me that we work together as a team and are on the same page every time we make a decision for our child. So Mario's control issues regarding the circumcision have really been bothering me. I knew I had to bring this up to him because these are the things that we have to work out before the baby comes. Let's see what she got. Let's see what she got. So it's the last day and I still didn't really get a chance to relax. No, you didn't. You didn't relax at all. Well, since I'm already all stressed out anyway, for me, the best way to de-stress is to exercise or work out. So I got the guys together to shoot hoops. I got to hit one of these. Oh, my god. This is the kind of thing, dude, that, you know, I look forward to. No matter how much I suck, just <laughs> hanging with the guys and messing around. Does that go away once you have the kid? Do you have to cut back on that? What's the deal? It's tough, but, you know, I think all fathers kind of you know, kind of have to work through that and try to figure out what yeah. makes sense for them. It's totally about your quality of time right. and not necessarily right. quantity. If yeah, you're, you know, with them, you're hanging out, but you're on your black room. And they can recognize that. They recognize it. Yeah. Oh, and they I'm talking about Leah does, you know, at, you know, at three when I'm watching her ballet class. That's good advice. You know? That's a lot yeah. of good advice. Processing a lot. I can speak from my heart <laughs> on this. Definitely after she has the baby, don't be like, hey, baby, so when do you think you're going to lose the rest of that weight? That is oh, the wrong thing to say. You said I'd that whether, to my sister. And whether it's your sister or Courtney, I guarantee you, they could go over well. This is nice. I think the trip so far is awesome. The families really get along so well. At the end of our trip, Mario seemed to chill out a bit, so I thought it was a good time to bring up the circumcision discussion and tell him how I felt about it. You're sexy, Mama. You're like full-on super MILF. Oh, is that what you're going to call me? Seriously. <laughs> the thing that's crazy to me is that this time next year, we're going to have a little baby. Hopefully, there'll be a little girl, this little face. <laughs> I think it's going to be a boy with this face. Oh, gosh. You think it'll have holes in his face? I think so. Mm -hmm. Love, Love you. you. But in the end, he was so sweet and the place was so romantic that I chickened out. But I didn't forget about it and I was determined to bring it up when we got home. Those are it, right? We got the bags. No, that's it.
Now, what do you got going on right here? Because you're throwing a monkey wrench in my whole deal right here. So these are like the shirts. That you sleep in. Yeah, sleep. And these are the ones to like work out in, right? I have to be organized because everything else in my life is so crazy. I got to be in control of something. Okay, well, a newsflash. When the baby comes and I don't have time to keep everything so perfect, you're going to have to relax a little bit. Okay, okay. You need to just chill a little bit. You're stressing me out, and, I, and there's no reason for it. Seriously, I thought we were supposed to relax on vacation, and you were just not relaxing. You were worrying about everybody else. I know, but I wanted everybody to have a good time, you know? When it was your family's first time, so I wanted them to be okay. I understand and... that, and I appreciate that. But also, all the discussions we had at the dinner table regarding the baby, some of them made me a little upset, I have to be honest with you. Well, I was trying to gauge everybody's opinion. Right? Oh, because I feel like some of the decisions you're making <clears throat> regarding the baby are your choice. What are you talking about? Well, the main thing that's been bothering me is the circumcision. What's bothering you about it? I don't know how I feel about that. And every time we talk about it, Wait, you shoot on. me but down. Wait, hold on. That's not... I'm sorry, but that's not up for discussion. That how is that not up for discussion? Because... Did you make the baby yourself? Please. Aren't you worried about what people are going to think? What do you mean what people are going to think? What do you think of me? I... For me. Well, to be completely honest, it was awkward for me. What do you mean it was awkward? Yeah, it looks like a turtleneck. I didn't hear you complain. Oh, really? Now it's awkward? Well, what am I going to say? I was thinking to myself, what the hell is that? Hey, newsflash, by the way. This is the way uh, men, all men are born. I can't believe you're even debating me on this. This is not debatable. He has to learn that he can't control certain things regarding the baby like he controls his sock drawer. So I'm not going to put up with it this time. Please. Aren't you worried about what people are going to think? What do you mean what people are going to think? What do you think of me? Well, to be completely honest, it was awkward for me. What do you mean it was awkward? Clearly Mario has strong objections regarding circumcision, but he talks about it like I don't even have an opinion. I didn't hear you complain. Oh, really? Now it's awkward? Well, what am I going to say? I was thinking to myself, what the hell is that? I can't believe you're even debating me on this. This is not debatable. I'm glad you don't want to go chopping off poor little Julio's little penis. He didn't have anything extra when he was born. Julio, <laughs> You're come so here. dramatic. Look at him. Look. Well, those are too... getting chopped off too. No! Everybody in this household keeps their penis and their balls. That's the deal, right? See, he says yes. All right, Julio, you and your balls, Go do what you gotta do. You gotta stick with me on this. I would just be more open to it had you just had a normal discussion with me and we made the decision on our own. The fact that you completely cut out my opinion and how I felt about the situation, that's what upset me. Dang, you're all sassy, what's up with you? I just wanna come to a compromise from here on in. That when it comes to our baby, that our decisions that we make are 50-50. And that if there's something that I feel strongly about, I don't need you to nix it right off the bat. I want you to listen. And I want you to and, and really think about it and let me decide some things too. You're acting like I'm a dictator over here, of course. You are. Oh, come Look on. at your drawers. Look at this. Look at everything you want me to do in here. You dictate what do you think I want you to do. Let's compromise. We don't have this unnecessary surgery where we're chopping off our little boy's penis. And we don't do that. And that's like one for me, right? And one. then if it's a girl. You you pick whatever name you want. Yeah, right. That's the, I'm telling you, you this is a compromise. So full of it. Um, we think I'm gonna go back on my word. Fortunately, we made a compromise. If it's a boy, we're not gonna circumcise him. And if it's a girl, we're not gonna circumcise her. <laughs> right. No, no, no. If it's a girl, I get to pick the name, right? That's fair enough. Good deal. Next time on Mario Lopez, Saved by the Baby. How much longer do you think he's gonna be down there? Mario is very busy. I want his attention to be focused on me and his new family. Your ass better hope I don't go into labor on the 11. I'll probably broadcast from the hospital. Hey, I have a surprise for you. What is that? I want you to wear it. Imagine trying to have sex like that. That'd be tough. Let's practice. Let's go. <laughs> Babe, I'm bleeding. Mario and I were being intimate, and I immediately started bleeding afterwards. You immediately think miscarriage. What's up, baby? 
Okay, your mom and I just had our first agree to disagree moment. If you're a boy, I want to keep you fully intact and your mom wants to mutilate you. But we compromise, so you're okay. Let's just hope you're not a girl because she'll probably give you a name like Ashley or something. There's going to be times when your mom and I don't always agree, but we're going to find a way to make it work and do what's best for you. Okay? Because we love you. Goodbye and gran beso.